This match wrap is presented by Altitude Trampoline Park, a proud supporter of area high school sports. Visit their location on the south side of Austin or www.altitudeaustin.com. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that red subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage that TV and radio refuse to cover. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Fourth round of the 5A girls soccer playoffs as Dripping Springs played Gregory Portland in San Antonio. The Tigers have only given up three goals in their last 23 matches and shut out the Wildcats 5-0 on January 15th. But there is an old saying it is hard to beat the same opponent twice in a season. Gregory Portland is 26-0 when they popped at least one goal. When they played in the fourth round two years ago, Dripping Springs won in PKs. Which team with two words in its school name would advance to the state quarters? Let's go to the pitch and check out the action brought to you by Altitude Trampoline Park in South Austin. Three goals. Live with class. Get better. Play with team. Set, take your shots. Select your shots special. And let's get after it. up the field and then I saw the ball coming out, I saw my opportunity run in, I pushed it to the side, saw the open side of the goal and shot it in.
have a really good warm up for the keeper, so we're always ready and on our toes. And I just think that staying engaged in the game really makes a difference on whether or not you're playing well or not. We struggled a little bit um, the second half to get in the box, but the first half we were pushing really hard and we should have had a few more, but it didn't end up working out, but the team still did great. I definitely think we should have um, had a bunch more uh, goals, as I said before, but this was a good game and we finished it out too. It felt like the Tigers played on a trampoline with the wind, but their back line only allowed one scoring chance to Gregory Portland all match long in a 2-0 win. They make their return back to the quarterfinals thanks to outscoring their opponents 14-0 in the tournament so far. We just stay very composed. I think we're very good at communicating. Um, we also just um, communicate with our midfields and they make sure to recover for each other and we also have a lot of speed in the back line so um, we use that to our advantage. Their job is to make sure the ball doesn't get back to me and my job is to make sure the ball doesn't get in the goal. So they pretty much protect my 18 yard box and don't let players get the ball in the box and don't let the ball get into the box. And they really executed it this game. They will face Cedar Park in an all Austin area quarterfinal as they defeated McAllen in the other fourth round match. That quarterfinal coming up in Austin later this week. Reporting from San Antonio, I'm Greg Sherman.